What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So this will be the spoiler field recap for Prelo Lies Original Sin Season 1 Episode 2 Season Finale. Uh, this episode opens up on December 31st, 1999 with Rose Waters confronting Angela about going to the party that she dies later on as we know. We then jump to present time and Farron is happy to see her dad is home. Tabby is shown talking to Wes to ask about Chip because she seems to believe Chip is the rapist. The liars meet and learn the sheriff raped Angela thanks to to Farron, the girls confront their moms and ask why they never said anything about the sheriff dating dating Davy. Angela apparently told them Tom raped her, and Davy only dated Tom for a few weeks but broke up after the rape rumor started. Kelly meets Farron and reveals her dad is spiraling, and it basically feels like they are under house arrest. Farron tells Kelly about the mass killer stalking them, reveals they reveals they pushed Karen, and they were the ones that chased Kelly in the auditorium. Tabby and Imogen discuss Chip potentially being the rapist. They plan to go to his house and snoop since he's working late tonight. Tabby lies to get in the house with Imogen and they search Chip's room. Chip's movies all have rape topics involved. They confront Chip at the theater about being a rapist and say he might be arrested. Tabby asks Chip where he went after she rejected him at the party. She also asks about the bonfire party. Chip's DNA came back a match so he was the rapist. They ask him why. He says because Tabby didn't want to be with him and he wanted to be close to her. Chip says he raped Imogen because she was just there at the beach. She was there at the beach at the time after he went there to be alone. Chip is attacked by the masked figure but runs leaving Imogen and Tabby with the figure. They say Chip assaulted them like how the sheriff assaulted Angela and then the figure pursues Chip. The liars get a group text at school during lunch saying their final game is beginning and they have broken a rule. Imogen and Tabby suggest going back to Angela's house for answers or clues. They go to the house, search it, and the masked figure is shown taking Farron's mom, Minnie's mom, Noah's mom, Tabby's. So all the liars' moms get abducted by the masked figure. Uh, the girls' search leads them to discover there might be more than one Angela Waters. They get a group text of their moms being trapped at the school with the masked figure. The thought process right now is Angela Waters has a sibling. They go into the school and find instruction cards for themselves the liars get a text saying all bullies must be punished the girls go to their rooms and find people who gave them a hard time aka their bullies with instructions to make them suffer imogen goes to her room where davy's corpse lays with instructions to open her mom's mouth for the truth the liars regroup after showing mercy to their bullies and get a text saying gather in the gather in the auditorium for the trial the principal walks out and, re and reveals the masked figure as Angela's brother and also reveals themselves as A along with the masked figure who is Angela's brother again. Angela's brother's name is Archie and the principal was helping Archie the whole time because the principal was Angela's father as well as Archie's father. He was in the choir. He goes into his backstory. This is the principal's backstory. He says that he was in the choir with Rose as kids and eventually they got pregnant with twins. Rose and her family eventually moved out of out of Millwood after being paid off. The principal stayed and eventually grew up to be vice principal. Rose returned wanting Angela to attend Millwood to get a decent education. Archie had a face only a mother could love, so Archie was homeschooled. The principal watched Angela attend school and never revealed himself to be her father due to the agreement he made with Rose to keep their, to keep their past a secret. The principal reveals the liar's mom's need to tell the truth because Angela killed herself over more than an assault. Kelly confronts her dad at home and says hopefully after this is over he gets what he deserves. The sheriff seems to threaten Kelly with a gun, but the mom is shown at attacking them, presumably killing the sheriff. Imogen begs the moms to tell the truth after Angela was assaulted. Davy called Angela a liar when she said Tom had raped her. Davy tells the other moms that Angela is lying about Tommy and they need to teach her a lesson by ignoring her. They need to erase her and need to get the whole school behind it. The school turned on Angela and treated her like nothing, like she didn't even exist. Davy met Angela at the park and invited her to rave. Invited her to a rave, but she arrived looking like a mess. The opening of the opening of the pilot episode, as we know. Imogen was the main target because her mom was the ringleader of the Angela drama. The masked figure is then shown chasing after Imogen while the principal stays in the gym with the rest of the girls. The principal admits he plans to frame Tom since he raped Angela. Kelly bursts into the gym with Greg and Greg gets shot by the principal. Tabby assaults the principal while he's distracted. The masked figure follows Imogen into her house and she's begun having contractions. They have a pretty intense brawl and Archie's face still hasn't been revealed. The two brawl further and fall down against the opposite walls while Imogen's water breaks. 
Imogen wakes up in the hospital and holds her baby girl for the first time. Mass Creeper was taken in and their mask is still on. Ship was arrested and the sheriff is in the hospital as well with the Mass Creeper as well. So he's revealed to be alive. Imogen visit her mother's grave and her friends join her. She says she's going to remember their more positive version of Davy and not her high school years. Everyone spends Christmas together. Noah's mom announces she's going to rehab. Farron's mom is staying in Millwood permanently. Chip is back home because his parents made bail, but Imogen and Tabby want to press charges. Imogen has her baby adopted by Aria and Ezra from Rosewood. Archie has woken up from the hospital bed and killed the sheriff. He goes to the house and attacks the person that answers the door, and that's how the season ends. Now, again, I know there are some things, if you're listening to this, you're like, wait, what about this? What about that? Wait, that doesn't make sense. What about Crazy Joe? Again, there are some things that I mentioned in my spoiler-free review for episode 6 through 10 that are still left up in the air, still some things that are like loose ends, and still, yes, some things that don't completely make sense. But because of how this is more cohesive than the last two A reveals that the original show gave us, that's why I put this right behind the reveal of Mona Vanderwall, who still reigns supreme as the best A. In terms of what she was doing and the clues and everything that pointed towards her, I would say that maybe the maybe the motivation for the principal and Archie in this is a little better than Mona's also again I think many of you see where I was coming from when I say I felt like when I was watching so I was getting welcome to the dollhouse vibes saw vibes scream 2 vibes and also an episode from Buffy the Vampire Slayer season one where the girl was invisible and she ultimately joined like the CIA at the end Marcy I think her name was so if you're someone who's watched the season finale you know what I'm talking about or if you're someone who just likes spoilers and you're watching this before the finale is, is even out you know how this is going to go down for the most part but there's a lot of missing context so i do still recommend watching that finale pretty good finale for the most part got you excited for season two again there's still some loose threads will we see rose waters in season two hopefully and hopefully this show actually does get its second season and it beats that season one cancellation curse that many people are in a belief well because it's been proven that the pll spinoffs are stuck in where they get canceled after one season never having the same success as that original show but hopefully original sin can be the exception for that uh if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications and never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video